Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another reading for you. Uh, this reading isn't time specific, we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, we're just going to go with that right there. Hold on. <laughs> there may be a little delay. Things may be a little dry because i got to put my lotion on. And like I say, with every reading, everything that happens during the reading is for you. So, we had a fallout. We had a fallout and things have been a little dry. Okay, things have been a little dry. Every single word that comes out, keep that in mind. That is the way it is with life. Okay. What you see, there's, there's a message beneath it. Okay. So let's see, what do I got for Sagittarius? Eight of Cups reversed. Four of Cups reversed. Knight of Pentacles. Let's get this party started by the looks of things because, you know, it's just like, let's get moving. Let's get moving. As I'm sick of the fucking delays. Sorry. Not. <laughs> That's funny. That must be the energy that you are in, huh? Is that what's going on here? Interesting. Five of Pentacles reversed. Woo! So, this is making a decision. Seven of Cups reversed. Seizing a new opportunity. There absolutely has been a delay of some sort. Knight of Pentacles. Slow. Things are moving too slow for you, aren't they? But, you know, I have to tell you, slow and steady wins the race. Okay, it really, really, really does. Um, I know you guys aren't the best with uh, things going slow, but maybe that's something that you need to uh, work on. <laughs> because, you know, it looks to me like, um, you know, maybe... maybe uh, you feel like you have been forgotten. Maybe you feel like you have been forgotten about, but I don't think so. Um, mm. Okay, there's a loss of some sort here, a loss of stability or a loss of income or a loss of money here, but I feel as though... You know, you may, you may be feeling some sort of loss. You may be feeling like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? Somebody may be helping you. You you may not believe it. You may not see it. But you may be receiving some financial assistance from somebody. Okay? Just, just relax. Just relax. If you're feeling as though, you know, you've been taken advantage of financially or something like that. You're really, really, really worried about your money. You know, maybe something has cost you something, or there's a there's there could be a loss of income here, um, and you may be really worried about it. I feel as though you're, you're there's like help arriving. Okay, something is going to come in, some sort of financial assistance is going to come in. So if you're worried about finances, don't worry about it, please. I mean, I know you got to worry about it, right? If you don't worry about it, who the hell is going to worry about it? But I'm just telling you, okay. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who is abusive as well with this King of Swords reversed. You could be dealing with somebody that is abusive. Uh, somebody that is uh, very selfish, self-centered. This person could be using you, okay? Um, it looks like you have two people here at least. You probably have an earth sign and an air sign. It looks like the earth sign, well, if, you're, if you are dealing with an earth sign, somebody that has, is very grounded, somebody that has money or whatever may be the one that's going to help you. Uh, if you're dealing with a fire sign, this fire sign is very cold and mean and selfish. And it doesn't have to be an, an air sign. It could be any... Did I say fire sign? I don't even know what I said. Anyhow... You're dealing with somebody who is uh, mean and a bully, okay? And they're using you in some way. And they're probably treating you badly. I feel as though um, this is 
making a decision and sticking to it, seeing a situation clearly, making a plan. Some there's making a plan and and following through with it takes time. That takes time. You probably need to leave a situation. Maybe you're being forced out of a situation. Maybe you know you need to leave a situation that is unhealthy. I feel as though you have a better opportunity here that will make you uh, a lot happier with the Four of Cups reversed. I think that you are going to be leaving behind a disappointing situation in the near future. There is probably a delay. Things are not moving as quickly as you would like. Um, you're probably worried about stability and money, but it looks like there is some sort of financial assistance here, okay? Um, Knight of Pentacles, this is come up with a plan, you know, stick to it, stick to it, um, realize that there's a plan, uh, King of Pentacles, this is uh, somebody that has money that is going to assist you but anyhow um what do we have here the end of suffering so yeah you guys have been suffering three of swords leaving the past hurts behind leaving the pain behind um healing forgiving that's hard isn't it night especially when you're dealing with such a, a son of a bitch i'm sorry but you are definitely dealing with a son of a bitch um this is somebody that is very mean, somebody that is untrustworthy, somebody that um, is, this is an energy thief. This person, um, it's like this person is really taking advantage of you because they're miserable. They are absolutely, they're a miserable person. So I'm, I don't like to say that, but it's the truth. Um, they're hurting you. They're hurting you. It's like they don't even care. They don't care if they're hurting you because they're miserable. Um... Could be a boss, could be a family member, could be a father, could be a stepfather. Um, it's probably a male, okay? We have a lot of males here. Um, this person uh, is selfish, just saying. Anyway, I, this is a rejection of some sort, so maybe you're feeling rejected. Maybe you something some you didn't get some sort of contract or you didn't get something that you wanted or the money's just not coming in or something to do with the money. Um, I feel like you need to make a better better choice. You have to make some sort of move. It's like you have to get out of there anyway, whatever it is. Um, but you're reluctant to move on. You're reluctant to go somewhere. You're you're, you're in a very troubled situation. Whatever's going on. Um, and you need to get to this better place. And it's like, man, can it just happen now? The thing is, is you, you, you have to manifest it and you have to come up with a plan and you have to take steps to, you know, make it happen. Whatever that means. Page of wands. If you think negative, this is, if you, if. If you let, this is a page of wands reversed, this is somebody who is very pessimistic, and it happens to be your kind of energy. I mean, it's the page of wands reversed. Maybe you received some bad news from somebody. Somebody turned you down. Somebody rejected you. Somebody did something to you that really made you upset. You have to, you have to think, look at it in a positive light. There is a positive to every negative. Trust me, there is. But if you think that there isn't, well, your thoughts become things and you, you don't manifest anything positive. So I'm just here to tell you that if you think positive, you will receive positive. If you think negative, you will receive negative. And if you don't believe me, keep thinking negative and you will keep going downhill. Just saying, I'm just being honest with you. So anyway, I feel like we have, and people are going to say, oh, you're bitching me out. Well, oh, you don't want to hear it. Anyhow, we have somebody here that has been getting distracted and letting somebody uh, bring their self-esteem down. You have the power within you to overcome anything that anybody says to you. Their opinion means nothing. It means nothing. It is just an opinion. 
You are dealing with a loser. Just saying. And you have somebody here that is going to help you. But you may have to be patient and you may have to be positive. You are dealing with somebody who has nothing good to say. And it's like you're feeding off of, this is an energy, you're feeding off of their energy. Five of Wands, it's a constant battle, isn't it? It, is, it feels like it's a constant freaking battle, but you don't have to play. Don't play. Walk away. Just walk away, Sagittarius. Don't play. It's Life is not all about competition. You can choose to turn your back at any time. Invest your time and energy in something else. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to fight with whoever this person is. Just bide your time because it's about, it, it's going to change. Things will change. King of Wands. This is a card of perseverance, stamina, strength, courage, confidence, self-esteem, self-worth, being the boss, being noble. Finding your ability to be disciplined. Finding your ability to concentrate on other things. Get creative. Make a decision to... Make a plan. And stick to it. I think that you guys are really, really worried, stressed, depressed. Because you have to take the lead. If you want things to change, you have to change it. You have to take action. There is somebody here to, that is going to help you right around the corner. It's right around the corner. Somebody that has the money that you are looking for is going to help you. But you have to take action in some way. This is act now, think later. This is take action. Do something about it. Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups reversed. You're dealing with somebody who is unemotional and cold. It's right over the King of Swords reversed. This person doesn't feel like you do. Their heart isn't even close to being where yours is at. I think that you are feeling very emotional at this time because this person is really, it's almost like they're, they're breaking you. Find your ability to hold your head up high, make a plan, and follow through with it. That is my advice. Right now you're stuck. Right now you're sacrificing yourself. You're in a state of limbo. But this is somebody who is refusing to take a new approach. You have to take a new approach. That's what this is. You have to have a new perspective. You have to come up with it on your own. Nobody's going to do it for you. And don't say I don't love Sagittarius because you know that I do. Hold your head up high. You ain't got nothing to prove to whoever this dickhead is. Anyhow, 
I feel as though, Sagittarius, it's time for you to relocate. It's time for you to invest in something else. Start by making the plan and taking baby steps to get there. And that is my advice. We're going to get you one of these, Sagittarius. This isn't about love. This is not about love. This is about something else. It's about the situation you're in. I feel as though you have another opportunity here. And if this could be about love, the Four of Cups. You have another opportunity. But if you're still focusing on this painful situation, you're not making a decision to move on from it. Well, you know, you got you gotta, you got to make a change here. And that's all there is to it. Illusion. Illusion. Appearances are not what they seem. There are no dead ends in the labyrinth. It appears as if you are continuously going around in a circle. Labyrinths are temples that insist on uncovering the truth, bringing enlightenment of spirit and consciousness. From a distorted reality, one is never truly lost within it. Within the labyrinth, we find our own internal compass to lead us in the right direction. Let me read that part again. Within the labyrinth, we find, we find our own internal compass to lead us in the right direction, awakening and unifying our spirit within the cosmos. This illusion of time and space represents the distortion of your own reality. The labyrinth is an exercise in your soul's development. This illumination of self pushes towards individual experience so you can make informed decisions. Although it, it may feel like your senses are misleading you, deep down you know the outcome as you have already been here before. Illusions can fool and mislead you into believing a situation is ideal or a person is genuine in their interest or affection, when in fact it's the opposite. People can present themselves as helpful but have a secret agenda. Be careful. Now, in your approach to others, the way forward is blurred with smiling assassins. Don't believe everything you hear or see right now. Stay alert. Caution is required for you to see through the smoke and mirrors. Without you seeing the full picture, an error in judgment is likely to occur. The key here is to see through the illusion of glamour and helpfulness to what is going on behind the situation. False ideas and beliefs are currently influencing you. Researching your ideas or pursuits further will give you clarity and deeper insight prior to any decision making. Distractions are everywhere. Your soul's compass is asking you to reassess your direction to uncover your true path. Does this action or decision bring you closer to your life's purpose? affirmation. I hear deep messages with strength and clarity from my soul. My soul knows the way forward. I trust my inner guidance. It's time for you to follow. It's time for you to listen. Follow what your soul tells you to do. Okay? Don't let anybody hold you back or mislead you with their bullshit. Because you are dealing with an absolute bully here. And the only one that can break out of this is you. Good luck.